Hello, and welcome to another installment of Spotlight on Special Needs, a podcast series from Kennedy Krieger Institute. Today, we're talking to Dr. Katherine Wagner, director of Kennedy Krieger's new Center for Genetic Muscle Disorders. Dr. Wagner, thank you for joining us. Can you tell us about the patients that you work with at your center? Sure. The group of patients that I serve are uh, those with inherited disorders of muscle. So there are approximately 35 different types of inherited muscular dystrophies and congenital myopathies. And those are, are slightly different in that congenital myopathies present right at birth and frequently don't get worse, versus muscular dystrophies can present at any time in life. They could can present in childhood, teenage years, in adulthood, and they're marked and defined by uh, progressive muscle atrophy and weakness and loss of function. And I see uh, mostly muscular dystrophies, but we are very hopefully bringing on board uh, someone who has international recognition for his expertise in congenital myopathy. What services does the center provide to these patients? We start off with offering them a, a diagnosis for their weakness and an advantage of seeing me, I think, is that that process can be efficient. And then we can help them with a prognosis. We can help them understand how these diseases have progressed because we've seen so many people with these diseases. And so we can give them a sense of of prognosis, what to expect from their disorder as, as time goes on. And we help manage their disorder. And that's something that I think uh, Kennedy Krieger is really going to be good at, that it's very different than seeing a neurologist that sort of documents their rate of decline. You know, come see me in a year and I'll, I'll tell you how strong your muscles are. That's really not helpful. But come see me every year and we'll work with you on what problems you have and find practical solutions for your problems. And we'll be able to provide you with the latest information about what's helpful to your muscles, what may be harmful to your muscles, what clinical trials you're able to participate in. And people do come for that, not only because they hope to be able to uh, receive a a therapeutic which will help them, but but a sense of empowerment, a sense that that they're participating in in solving a, a major problem. It sounds like your team really provides care from childhood through adulthood. I understand that that's something that differentiates your center from other facilities. Right. A lot of places are not comfortable with continuing to take care of these individuals as adults, and they get to be very fragile adults, completely paralyzed in their arms, legs, and trunk. And I think that's a real advantage of my being an adult-trained clinician and also an advantage of Kennedy Krieger that's not at all uncomfortable with taking care of older individuals. And Kennedy Krieger understands the particular challenges of people with disabilities. This is where they would go to get expert ancillary services. They really have the perfect environment with the expertise right there in rehab of PTOT, aquatic therapy, assistive technology. I'm sure another benefit is that the center also works with the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Right. We are considered a muscular dystrophy association clinic now at Kennedy Krieger. The MDA is physically present with me in Kennedy Krieger Clinic, and that really is great because that means that patients can come in and get services from the MDA. You mentioned before that the center is focused on research in addition to clinical care. Can you tell us a little bit more about those research efforts? Sure. So I have a current clinical study with FSH muscular dystrophy that the people are coming from around the country for, and we're doing clinical research with pharmacological inhibitors of myostatin. Myostatin is a a, a natural inhibitor of muscle growth. It's present in all animals and humans. And when you block myostatin, you get increased muscle growth, increased regeneration of muscle, and decreased fibrosis or scarring of muscle. And this is uh, very beneficial in animal models of muscular dystrophy, which we've shown in our basic research. So we've done one clinical trial with a myostatin inhibitor that was produced by Wyeth, and we're getting excited and geared up for another clinical trial with a, a product by the company Acceleron. 
but this is a very likely uh, new therapeutic approach to muscular dystrophies. It sounds like you and your team are really passionate about these patients. How did you come to be interested in the field of genetic muscle disorders? During my PhD, I discovered a protein that's now called dystrobrevin, and it is similar to and associates with dystrophin, which is the uh, protein missing in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So with, with that discovery of dystrobrevin, I became very aware of the disorders, and, and that was really the first time that I had really entered into muscular dystrophies. So my initial interest was produced by a scientific discovery, but it was really linking the scientific discovery to this huge unmet clinical need that interests me. And as I became trained clinically then, I started actually seeing these patients with muscular dystrophy. And that has always been a pleasure. They are, in general, as as a group, uh, relatively extraordinary people who are struggling, if not on a daily basis, certainly on, on a yearly basis with loss of function. And the current field of muscular dystrophy is just very exciting that we are really now being able to develop therapies to offer these people versus 10, 20 years ago, we were still trying to figure out what's the genetic basis of these diseases. Now the genetic basis is known for the vast majority of them. We're on to the the therapeutic side of how to, with that information, how to develop new therapies. Dr. Wagner, thank you for taking the time to talk with us about the Center for Genetic Muscle Disorders at Kennedy Krieger Institute. For those of you who are looking for more information about the center, visit www.kennedykrieger.org or call 443-923-9200.